Hey, hey guys, welcome back. Um, okay, I figured out what to do. I, I was confused because I was thinking that the symbol, I knew that they changed the water. I mentioned that. But I thought that they changed the water to the level that you're at. That would make sense, wouldn't it? And the level was here, so I was like, okay, don't play it here because that's where the level is, but it dropped all the way down. So that's weird. Oh, I think I can do this. Fire, fire arrows. Go, 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 go. I was gonna try to do therapy stuff today. Uh, I did a, um, I did a, a journal, like a, I spent half an hour. Oh. I told, stop that. I told my therapist about my audio journal and she was like, that's good. I'm glad you're doing that. But like also maybe do a written journal that might help you think about things differently than like just talking about it. Um, so I was doing that and she told me, that's a key, that's gotta be a key. She told me last week to write about talking. I guess it was interesting that she said maybe a couple weeks ago, like, well, talking seems to be a big deal for you. And I was like, I mean, duh, but like also why? <laughs> like, um, Yeah, it's always been a big, it's something that I, th it's a, it's the biggest barrier for connection to other people for me. I don't know how to talk to people. So obviously it's like, it seems like this big, is, is millstone the right word? I was going to say millstone, but <laughs> I don't know if that was going to sound pretentious. This big weight around everything I do, it, it's like, uh, it affects everything, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's why. That's all, that's what I talk about a lot at therapy, because it's like, if I could talk like a normal person, I probably wouldn't be there. Everything in my life since I've been 12 years old has been affected by not being able to talk and communicate with people like a normal person um, doing school stuff doing extracurricular stuff sports work church stuff it's all affected by this thing that follows me around wherever I go, whenever I'm around other people. I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying ever, pretty much. And the less you talk, the worse it gets. Uh, is there a time limit? What's happening? So what was the actual note that I had? Um, well, one thing I brought up, I don't know how important this is, but I just mentioned it when I was doing my, my writing journal. And then she said, oh, let's talk about that. Um, okay, what do I do here? One of the things I thought was like, I don't think, whenever I talk, it feels like I don't, nothing I say is worth saying or I 
I guess that's what I said. Nothing I say is worth saying. And she did a, a thing which I guess a lot of therapists try to do to challenge your thought is like, well, they'll say, what if your brother came to you and said that to you? What if your brother came to you and said, well, nothing I say matters and like, nothing I say is worth saying and I don't think I'm very interesting or I don't think anybody cares what I say. Okay, I do have to figure out what to do here because I know this is where you're supposed to go, but. Oy. Water temple. I did get a key. I still have, well, I still have the key. Let's just go back then. I guess I wasted some time. Because I got the key. What does it say? I got the key. Where even am I? Well, that's where I am. Get on the small platform on the step. Climb up one level. Zip across. This puzzle has slight differences. In the N64, the crystal switch is beyond the gate. You have to use a spin, a spin strike. That's weird. I wonder why they changed it in the 3DS version. So here, we'll look at this. Um, well, I guess I kind of understand now why they changed it. You have to do, in the 3DS version, it says it's this crystal is in front of the gate. But in this version, you have to do this bin strike. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not very intuitive. So I guess I understand why they changed that. But I guess, I mean, they did want to put in a spin puzzle, so, but, wait, was that all that was behind there? I guess. Let me just double check. Yeah, just return to the main room. Okay. So, what if your brother came to you and said, nothing I say is worth saying? Um... I'm trying really hard to be honest in this therapy thing. Like, like really honest. So I told her like, well, obviously, if my brother had actually asked me that question, I would say, well, come on, of course, like you're a good person and and I, and what you, what you say has value. You're smart and you're funny, you're important. So you should, you shouldn't ever be self-conscious about talking that much. Um, but I said, I said, okay, so that's what I would tell my brother if he actually told me that. But if I'm being honest, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I actually feel that way towards my brother or towards, towards anybody. Um, not just my brother, like, um, anybody, even the smartest person ever. I think what I told her is like, well, if I really want to challenge that thought, I would say basing what you say off if it's important or if it's valuable isn't a good metric. It's not the right metric. Um, I guess I don't know what the right metric is, but you shouldn't base whether you say something off if it's important or valuable. I mean, maybe if you're someone who struggles with talking too much, that could be a good metric to like scale it back. But for me, That doesn't have to be the metric. It can't be because, do I have to light that on fire? Because then I'll never talk. Cause like, what is worth saying? What is, um, 
communication is so much more than just whatever's worth saying or being worrying about saying like something smart or something funny or something interesting and then the less you talk the more you you start to put weight on stuff like well I haven't talked in so long now it's gotta be important because people are gonna actually listen to what I say if, if I never talk and like well now I'm talking so like you gotta listen <laughs> Um, I remember this puzzle a little bit. I need to memorize this song. <clears throat> oh, so now I can go underneath. I guess that was it. That's all I wanted to say. Oh. But I know there's more to it than that. There's more to it than just like thinking, oh, I wish everything I said was like smart and valuable or interesting or funny or whatever i know that's part of it definitely like whenever i'm in a conversation i think well i have nothing really to add because i guess i could try to think of something and then maybe when i try to think of something i never really think of anything to say but that's not really how conversations are supposed to work you're just kind of supposed to listen to what the other person says and just say whatever you're thinking ah And you can start to have a filter of like, well, is what I'm going to say like hurtful or should I say this thing? And that's a good filter to have. But it can just be like a quick filter and you could just be like, even if you, even if you say something you're not supposed to say, you could just be like, oh, sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that or, or, or even like. What I'm going to say might seem weird, or just preface it with something like that. And the more you talk, the more you kind of understand what's a weird thing to say and what's not. I tried to talk about how it's hard for me to ever be personal with people. Just take, take the boots off, you idiot. And then she asked me, like, well, what does it mean to be personal? And that's where it's like, well, it could be anything. It could just be asking, how's your day? What, what's the, the weather's interesting, isn't it? Like, that's even too personal for me. Oh, really? I'm not, what? What's up there? That can't be right. There's got to be something. Was it really just like a trap? And then there's like, oh. <clears throat> there's a chest over here. There it is. But she didn't really focus in on that. She focused in more on like the you you should thinking that your everything you say has to be valuable. She didn't focus on which I actually think is more important is like being personal and like being vulnerable. There's a I can't I can't take that leap. It's a big leap for me. Cause I I told her like well, talking in this therapy session and like talking in this YouTube thing is easy for me because I'm just talking about myself. At first, that was hard to do because I didn't know what to say. But now it's 
easy. I'm just talking to myself. And when I'm in the therapy session, it's similar to this. I kind of, I mean, I'm listening to what she's saying, but I'm still just talking about myself. I'm not talking about like, well, how's your day? And what'd you do last week? Did you do anything fun? I never ask her anything like that. Um, I think a component of that is like, I don't like when people ask me those questions. So obviously I'm like, well, I don't want to ask people those questions because I don't want to put them in a situation that makes me uncomfortable. So I say, don't, so I don't ask those questions or I don't. I've always kind of hated when people ask me like, well, how's your day? And did you do anything fun in the weekend? Because the answer is always no. <laughs> or, or I can say once in a while I'll do something interesting. I'll be like, oh, I went to a basketball game or something. And then I'm not sure what to say. Like, I haven't rehearsed the story about the basketball game. I was just like, yeah, I went to a net game and it was fun. I don't have, like, an anecdote about, like, I bought popcorn and I spilled it on my friend. And he had to get up. And then Jason Kidd was like, hey, why are you standing up? And he threw a basketball at me. I don't know. I don't know what anecdotes are. And why did I pick Jason Kidd? He's been retired <laughs> for 15 years. <laughs> ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I think I'll end there. And uh, I have a key, so I can do some key stuff. This key stuff will be key stuff. Okay, I'll go through this door next time. See what's in there. Okay. Thanks for watching. And see you tomorrow. And if you have any comments, don't be afraid to comment. Just throw a comment down there. See what happens. I know I don't, I don't, I, I'm not really sure how to do this. Like I want to make it more, whatever I'm doing here, like more open to comments. I don't really know how to know how to do that. I feel like I'm not really engaging you in a commentual way. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I try like asking questions sometimes, but I'm like, that's dumb. So comment if you feel like it and anything you want to say and I'll see it and I'll, that might be scary to some people like, oh, I don't want him to see my comment. Nah. I'll be nice, I promise, so. And I'm the only one who's going to see it, probably. So. <laughs> um, anyway, see you tomorrow.